Good morning and welcome back to the channel and another episode of Boosted 2000, okay? Today I am off to Cars and Coffee, which is up in Aberdeer. Okay, so Aberdeer is in South Wales, myself being Welsh, as you're fully aware of. Um, it is a classic car meet um, of coffees. It's the first one we're doing of the year. Um, it's in Dare Country Park in Aberdeer, so it's about 45, 50 minutes away from me. Give and take, we don't have traffic because it's a nightmare up on those roads. Um, but yeah, the only reason I'm going is because I've seen some historic rally cars which are going, um, and I was right up my street. And we dragged the Escort out. Um, I didn't wash it yesterday, that was a plan, give it a real go clean. Um, and I'm very grateful that I didn't because it is absolutely bogging out, wet, cold, and windy. And the car is stinking. Look at that. And do you know what? It's going to be even dirty on the way home. And I don't care. So yeah. We're going to have a quick boost up there now, get some fuel and all that kind of stuff. Hope we get a burger up there or something because I am absolutely starving. This probably won't happen. I'll have to have dinner when I get in. Um, but yeah, just a bit of a guide of the day, what's going on and stuff. And uh, I'll see you up there soon. Enjoy. One eternity later. Right, we've made it and it's absolutely levering down and we got lost as well, okay? Um, so the directions ain't very good for this place. Uh, Google and sat nav and stuff. Anyhow, we're gonna grab a quick coffee and we're gonna have a quick look around the cars then and uh, get some footage. Okay, let's start. This has already caught my eye. Absolutely loads of time for this. It's four door Escort. And the color is amazing. This will be me in Chelsea soon. Look at this little party piece. The size now sub in the back and the capacitor. Also, we'll have a quick throwback. So, if you remember years and years away, but you knows me, um, on my first car, I used to have a massive sound system and I had a really embarrassing stick on the back saying passion, grace, and serious bass. Looking back, that was the most cringiest thing you could ever do. But in the 90s, it was probably the coolest thing you could do. But I say 90s, the 2000s is sad. Rocking comp motives, nicely tucked. Okay, I'm gonna quickly film these two, some really nice rally cars. Take a look at these. Absolutely gorgeous Lancia, look at this thing. Amazing, let's get a quick walk around. Some original memorabilia. Now this is something that I absolutely love. I could have stick those too. Plug for this guy. Typical dash arms. So, this is something you don't see every day. Look at that. Nice clean setup, that. With a huge supercharger. I love this escort. The Kevlar detail on the side. Very, very nice. Let's take a closer look. A bit more modern, you don't see these much anymore. Roman Aja, Steve McQueen just turned up.
no offence intended, that's an amazing bike. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Little rumour as if this car is going to be on. Wonder if we get to hear it later on. Come on, to be honest, if you own the Vauxhall, you'd have a Courtney Sports sticker back in the day. Did you actually even own one? Honest question. Did you? Because everyone had one. I had one on my Z20 LH um, Astra Coupe Turbo. It was a thing to do, it gave you extra 20 brake horsepower. The GLS, rumour has it, the good looking slag. That's what car was back in the day. Those TSWs, proper period. <laughs> or, throwback, if you are super chav-tastic, that's what you call them, chav -liers. Anyhow, um, GLS goes like shit. Another rare sight. So DC5, I believe, is it called? Nice, it's a bit like um, a diamond white colour, like the Ford, isn't it? So it's big Brembo stoppers on the front. Yeah, really nice car, these are. They've got a hell of a tune to them and that V-Tank things. Say what you want Aye. about uh... Looks just like Palmer. It does. <laughs> Remember Palmer from last video? You're surprised. Okay, so some dumbass had a really good idea to buy duck food for Chelsea because to me she's not into our cars today because it's pissing down rain and we are absolutely drenched. Anyhow, so we're going to feed the ducks for five minutes and we are soaked right through. We are dedicated and committed to the cause. Okay, I'm doing this just for a video for you guys. Oh my God, it's all happening. It's like literally like a bird whisperer. We've got all these ducks and swans coming now. Look out, there's a baby over there. A fight timber there. Go. Good size than our guy, or oh, girl. This thing is bigger than Palmer's, my good dog. She is literally. The duck whisperer. Should have got more duck food. We yeah, absolutely don't care. They're coming up and see us. Check it there, Chas. Oh my gosh. Watch your slip, for God's sakes. One of us is going to end up in you now, I'm telling you. <laughs> and if you Chelsea, not me. Right, I survived the ducks. Let's go back and see where our cars are down, you know. See who's coming, who's gone. Quick, zoom around quickly before we go home. Cracking little mini show nap since. Nice. thinking let's get lots of good attention and to tell people it's an RS2000 and the really cool thing is people actually don't believe me right people have moved away from these now so I can get a little bit of footage on quickly a little quick walk around this hall before I shoot off so yeah as I said this is an absolutely amazing and beautiful Mark 1 a lot of time I love that with the white tubs and stuff on it and then like I said it's Lancia original left hand drive very very old car very very clean I like the shed, it's got the memorabilia, 
number one of the dashboard from race has probably been in. It's an RAC International Rally 1971. Way, way, way before I was born. True fact. Right, yo, so on that note, we're going to end the video here. Thanks for watching. Um, it's just a little bit of a snippet of the adventure we've had out. Keep the channel alive, keep it active, and I know people like to watch and engage. Um, so, I want to say a big shout out to um, Aberdeer Motorsport Club and for guys from Breck, and I think we're arranged it all. Um, really nice, nice location, 10 out of 10. Duck Pond's amazing, even though they're going to attack us. Decent coffee, well priced. Great location and not far from us. So overall, a 10 out of 10 experience. Other than the fact that sat nav doesn't really take you to where you meant to go. Um, but we know now for next time we definitely will be back. So thanks for having us. I'll upload and post this video. A um, few things too as well. You can see the dials are in the car now and they're absolutely great. Um, the temperature gauge is slightly running higher than what it should be, but the car's not because it's actually running at 85 degrees. So I do have an LED here and I have the ECU controller here. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna have they look great, they're like nice and bright. It was really warm and dear people when I had to tell them it was my cause of earth because most days are gone now, we don't quite pretend in. Uh, there's more reps actually on the market these days than there is real causes. Cropping up on Facebook left, right, and centre. And like I say, follow my page on my Instagram and stuff. You'll see them on my story. But anyhow, like I said, it's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Thanks to Chelsea for coming up and tolerating our soaking wet day. And do you know what? It's an eye opener to us. We can take our dogs to our event. So we definitely will go back. There's loads of naughty little sausages and barking dogs up there too. So we would fit right in. Anyhow, until next time, don't forget to hit like, sub, and all that kind of stuff. The channel is monetized. I am rambling on, but it helps, okay? I'll see you soon.